Well, Makana must have inspired uh, the pair next door because here's Andrew Guba. He is now working on the front ten. In game two, these guys do pretty darn well in the short. The sweeper on short was won by Duncan Whitaker with a 700 scratch three game series out of about 100 entries. So it wasn't like the uh, sweeper scoring pace was very high, it's just it's the full field. They've got the practice on it, they've uh, dialed in their surfaces, and we. Looking around the scratch division here, see ya. Pretty decent scoring pace, but these are seven of the best bowlers west of Mississippi as well. This for 11. Oh, yeah. Andrew's been bowling with us for a long, long time. If he manages to win again before he ages out, he will set a new record of the longest time between wins. A heck of a lot of title matches, but his last win, I think, came in 09. As always happens, the crowd starts to gather when there's 11, and Jacob Gadam always starts to gather. I don't know how he ends up next to all the front 11s, but there he is. Crowd to the right. Well, Daniel Hall. What did you do down here? I don't know. You guys are good. The soft-spoken Las Vegas kid. Kind of quiet, but man, he can bowl. Let's see if we can add a 300 to his collection. Get that 10 pin over. Saw so that double dribble on the head. That might have been the difference. One big TPC family gives them a whole bunch of high fives, but it's a uh, 299, which uh, is probably pretty good for the standings. Yeah. 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 I think so.